Hey guys, it's Noe. So, uh, today I went to the farmer's market and I really wanted to put up a video because a lot of my friends and some people online, you know, they keep asking me, uh, well, if you're a raw foodist, like, what exactly do you eat? And it, doesn't that get boring? Um, so I just kind of like displayed in a way so you guys can see what I get you know at the farmers carb market and what I get at the you know um, at the health store or the grocery store um, and I mean it really varies I think I had um, made a really big improvement because before you know remember I mean being in a regular diet or in a sad diet has, you know, they say it, or like the standard American diet, uh, where you cook and you process all your foods, etc. Um, I think you spend a little bit more money uh, being, you know, vegan or raw food or raw vegan. Um, you do spend way less money than you think. Uh, some people might, you know, they do ask, well, isn't buying like organic more expensive for you uh, than, than before, like eating regular, you know, your regular diet or your regular foods, cooked foods. But uh, really, it is not. Uh, it is very, very minimum what you spend uh, switching to a complete organic produce. Um, I think where you see the most, uh, the things that I get, you know, that are completely organic, obviously, are things like, you know, any type of berry, uh, all the berries, uh, all my kale, uh, spinach, uh, uh, lettuce, cucumbers, zucchinis, all that stuff, you know, that uh, are more in contact with, you know, maybe some uh, fertilizers that, you know, people, the farmers, you know, might put. But um, the rest, you know, if, if I'm in the road or in, the, uh, uh, in a place that I can't get my organic stuff, you know, I mean, like things like um, oranges, uh, bananas, lemons, avocados, mangoes, you know, stuff like that. If I, if I can get them organic, then, you know, I just get them, re you know, uh, uh, regular, uh, or I don't know if it's called regular or not. But, um, uh, I think it is extremely good for you to, uh, or for anyone, you know, just to adopt a more live diet. Uh, and I really don't want to call it diet because it is not a diet. It is just a lifestyle. It's a way of life. If it's, it's something that you completely change for for you to to feel better. But um, I'm going to take you. I kind of like like I said again, display it a little bit on how uh, the things are. <laughs> are put in and I kind of like will tell you why I, I like to pick up those uh, those greens or those fruits I don't have enough fruit right now obviously uh, because I am uh, I will be getting more fruit because I will be transitioning more into like an 80 10 10 uh, I've been talking about it you know but for for a co you know quite some a couple of months but uh, it's getting there uh, I think for the most part I'm 80%, 90% raw vegan. Um, but here we go. All right, so on this side we have a beautiful watermelon. And I think this was the most expensive of everything because it's pretty heavy. Um, that one was about, you know, $8. But eh, I don't care. It's That probably goes half. I would, Cut it in half and then eat one half, one, you know, one sitting and then the other half and the other sitting. But anyway, so I have uh, some spinach, a little bit of um, uh, lettuce, some cilantro, 
some... I, I really love kale. I don't know why, but kale is just so good for me. Um, you know, you can put it on smoothies, you can uh, blend it, you can um, juice it, however you want it. And here I have like a huge bunch of um, kale that I got this morning at the farmer market. I have some zucchinis, uh, different types. Um, I really love beets, some um, carrots, a little bit of tomatoes, um, the little ones, but uh, this one's, oh my god, these are so juicy. Uh, I only had a couple, I mean, and granted, you know, this, it probably goes in like three smoothies for the most part and then I just do salads um, maybe like two tomatoes in one salad or one I don't know I have a bunch of um, cucumbers I love cucumbers I mean it's so refreshing especially right now that it's pretty hot outside um, and I will show you later in, in some other videos what I do with the zucchinis I mean with the cucumbers um, I do some waters and um, it's so delicious. I have some, ah, these are not fresh obviously, but I have some mint and basil because I love avocado, orange, and mint and basil. Uh, some peppers, look at that. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. These are so beautiful. And then just a big pepper. Um, just really quick, I will show you this in a little bit, but then I have um, uh, some more, you know, like mangoes, avocados, um, tons of lemons because I pretty much like it half, drink half a lemon or probably one lemon a day. A uh, lot of um, oranges and some bananas. Uh, granted, remember I you know, been trying to transition more into a Neri 1010. So um, I do eat probably 10 bananas a day um, at this time. Some strawberries. Um, I love, love, love kombucha. Kombucha? I don't know if it's, you pronounce it like that. But uh, anyway, so kombucha. I always have fresh orange juice. So I already squeezed or juiced a bag of oranges and you know just I mean put them in containers and make it fun so you know for those people that say that raw food it's so boring it it's really not it's fun uh, one thing you really don't cook so it's pretty 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 amazing um, like I was saying you know just get you know some fun some fun um, glasses. I have these beautiful fresh flowers today along with those and those. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, there. Um, but uh, I have a bunch of different type of teas that I do. Um, some iced teas, green tea. I love this company. It's called nuts.com. You find a crap lot of really uh, good stuff uh, have some matcha tea then um, I have some powders here these are um, you know just green powders that I put in my smoothies um, gosh what is this called I'll get to this later but uh, this is bee powder um, bee pollen and some cinnamon. I love for my Mexican friends or Hispanic friends, Flor de Jamaica, hibiscus, hibiscus, coconut. I always have, you know, Himalayan salt, obviously. And this, okay, get this. This I got back in um, November, okay? And look at it. it's still. Here, this is how much I have drank so far, and then some. You know, sometimes 
it goes with salads and stuff like that. So, um, liquid smoke because sometimes I get you know the little cravings of uh, having a raw burger. So mushrooms, walnuts, it's so good. Uh, I put some of that. Coconut oil, tahini, apple cider vinegar, um, olive oil, obviously, uh, some nutty kale chips. Some I don't use this anymore. I used to. Uh, my cousin brought it for me from Florida a long time ago. Um, but I used to eat this. Now it goes on my face. But I do drink this or eat it, drink it, eat it, drink it, whatever you call it. Um, Back to, I have some pine nuts because I put them on my salads and some dates. I usually get the box, but, you know, I've just been buying those little packs. I've been getting such of a, a, a fan of uh, Garden of Life. It, this product is so good. I have one scoop a day in like eight ounces of uh, water. Um... So I have one scoop of this a day, along with some spirulina and some curella. Curella. Um, this, I mean, really, I wish, you know, I'm learning little by little, but uh, it does help your digestive system and um, your entire, I think, immune system for the most part. I love these containers. I mean, remember, anytime that you buy one of these things, it depends on the store. Like, I go to Good Harvest here in Waukesha. And this one is pretty cool because uh, I have probably a scoop a day of the raw meal with bananas and orange juice and raw meal. I love it. And then when I'm in a hurry, these containers are a lifesaver because... Remember, it's very important for you to have breakfast. Um, never, 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 ever, ever, and I'm going to shake this video. Never leave the house without eating something healthy or eating something or having something in your stomach because that's when you fail and, and you get those cravings out there on the road. Um, so it's very important. I mean, these are super easy. It has like a little spring thingy and you just put water put a scoop of that or a scoop of this and you're set set to go you know it just at least take you through the morning and just have some bananas you know take some oranges peel them and you know if you like apples um i love you know like prunes so i mean just take them home take them to work and wherever you're going um these are some of the vitamins that I take. I just put them out because I think, for me especially, I think it's important. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember that I broke my wrist. Uh, this is how far I can bend my wrist so far. Um, it hurts pretty bad still. I think the, because of the bone is healing. But uh, I do take, um, I like this brand, Solgar. And I'll talk about it later. But uh, these are just some of the uh, supplements or vitamins, so to speak, you know, that I take calcium and magnesium, uh, B12, CLA. Hopefully, I drop some more pounds. <laughs> um, vitamin D3. And of course, I will never, never, ever um, leave or finish a day without taking a vitamin E. Vitamin E, remember, it's strong in antioxidants, uh, so you can be young and beautiful forever. But, um, yeah, and then obviously, I mean, water. Drink lots, lots of water. This is like one day, this is one day. I become a fan of this brand. It's 1.5 liters, so I drink two of those a day. Or one if I'm drinking like tons of juices. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, this is like maybe like five days worth of food. Da -da 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 -da. I should put like a music. Well, obviously, I don't eat all that in one week, but 
Um, those are just, you know, and I'll sh later on a couple of videos, I'll show you guys, you know, how you utilize some of these, you know, jars and containers. I have a crap load, you know, that uh, I really like to keep in the fridge and, you know, just drink one with, you know, I do green teas, I do some juices, I look lemon, I do lemon, uh, cucumbers, I don't know, like so many strawberries, blueberries, and obviously in the fridge, in the fridge I always have blueberries, bananas, I put like a banana or two bananas in these little bags and that way I can just you know make an ice cream um, I started oh shit started making this container and like this containers is like blueberries strawberries and then I have like a gelato you know how easy is that so that is my video and it went probably 30 minutes I'm not sure and I will be doing it in Spanish too for my Spanish speaking friends. Um, if you guys have any question, just ask them below. And remember, raw, being raw vegan, it is way more easier than cooking foods. And throughout this week, I will take you guys of how I utilize all this food. Uh, I will make a couple of videos on making water, making juices, making salads. So nothing, absolutely nothing go to waste. Um, I really hate, like the one thing that sometimes do go to waste is strawberries or if I buy apples. I'm not a big fan of apples for some reason, I don't know. Um, I'll use them once in a while, but uh, not such a big Apple fan, I don't think. Um, anyway, any questions? Remember, subscribe below if you're not already done so. And until next time, peace.